Hey guys, Cassie Deputy. Alicia Deputy. Uh, the Deputy. And this is Deputy, Deputy Tribe. Hey guys, welcome back to Deputy Tribe. I'm Cassie Deputy, and I am a home educating mom to eight kids. These are my oldest two, Hava and Alicia. Um, on this channel, we talk a lot about um, homemaking, cooking, home educating. There's my sister, Yaya. <laughs> um, we talk a lot about that kind of stuff, homesteading, all sorts of things. But today, we're going to be reviewing this curriculum, which is by... Paradigm Accelerated Curriculum, and it is their English Communication Skills. Um, so this company, Paradigm Accelerated Curriculum, focuses a lot on character. So all of their lessons um, really build moral, godly character traits into your children. This curriculum is also very, like, um, hands-off for the parents. I pretty much can just give it to my kids and they can do it on their own, which is really nice. So let's kind of talk about it. You gotta pick that up, you know. <laughs> um, so when you order it, they give you the physical copies and then they give you the teacher's guide. And so I will do kind of a walkthrough of what those include here. All right, guys, let me show you a walkthrough video of what this curriculum includes. So here we have um, a text and an activity book with the number one on it. Um, so that's chapter one and there's five chapters and they each have a text and an activity book. And then we also have the teacher's book. Um, so the textbooks are your, their reading assignment. So here's what it looks like. And they're all different. This one has some vocabulary, and then it has parts of speech, it, nouns. And then this, more of the lesson. And then they all end with a life principle, which is like a um, famous, like a quote. Most of them are famous, like you would recognize them. So that's kind of what they do. I'll give you a kind of a page through here of what it looks like. So this is what they read through. They underline stuff. They, you know, read through that. Okay, so that's kind of that. So then they read through it and then they do the activity. It's pretty straightforward here. So it asks them comprehension questions, um, some of the definitions, they underline which definition makes sense. Um, they fill in the blanks with the grammar, they practice using some nouns, whatever the lesson was that they, that they studied. Um, yeah, so that's basically what they do. So you can see that. Um, and then there's the teacher's guide, which has all of the answers, if you can see that. And it's got a three ring hole binder punch. I just haven't put it in one yet. Um, so then we have the five, um, the five chapters. So as you can see, they're learning about all different types of things. Um, the vocabulary stuff changes. Here we have some prepositions. Um, they also have some, let me see if I can find one. They have some URL cords or something um, where you can scan them and watch a video. But here they have all sorts of different things, typing lessons. So it's all about um, communication skills. So it's very, very fun. 
very, very organized, short stories, entertaining. My kids love doing it. They don't get bored. The stories are all different. Um, and everything you have is all included. So now the PDF versions we downloaded. Where did those go? Can you hand those to me, Javi? Can you try to get it plugged in somewhere so it can charge? So here is the ones that we printed. Um, so it's the exact same thing, just printed. And then one chapter can be nicely stapled together. So here's some examples of her work. So that's kind of a walkthrough. As you can see, they've gotten pretty far in chapter one. And there you go. All right, so there's a walkthrough of what those include. So now let's talk about it. Uh, let's talk about, I don't know, you guys talk about it. What were the lessons like? What did you think? How did you use it? Speak um, nice and clear, show us lessons. examples. Lessons all start with a story of like a... You gotta speak loud. I don't know if they can hear you. It's raining on our farm this morning. The lessons all start with a story. Like this one starts with the story of Ernest, Ernest Shackleton and yeah. his endurance. And so uh, then after you know the story, well, in the story, there's also um, a vocabulary box. So yeah. You gotta show them. Right. Does every story have that? Yes. Yes. Well, uh, there's vocabulary words. So these, um, what are those called? Old italics. and italics. Yep. Italics words are down in the vocabulary box, and they gives you a definition of what that means. Okay. So they define the words for you. Yeah. And then. Um, then you'll have, like, at the end of the story, like, you have a life principle, which is typically a famous saying, but some of them I've never heard of. Go ahead and read that one. This one is, successful people persevere beyond what they thought they could endure. And how did that relate to the story? Um, it was talking about Ernest Shackleton's endurance. Yeah, what, what did he do? <laughs> <laughs> he traveled the North okay. Pole with his men. His ship, um, I think his ship crashed. So they just traveled for 18 months on the South Pole. Okay. And then they finally were able to make it to a different island and they get help. You gotta speak up. But they had to leave some of the men behind. Did it go back for them? Yeah. Okay. They told, the people of the island told him not to go back. But he went back for them anyway. Nice. So we really enjoyed that they were stories. That each lesson was a story because they're big readers. And I think that's important when you have any sort of curriculum to get um, a story behind it. Because it kind of helps you grasp what you're learning. Okay, what else? Um, well, I think in this one we're really lucky you now. You gotta speak real loud, honey. We started working with nouns, and then later on in the book you start working with verbs, and you get pronouns and uh, uh, infinitives, and you get to learn uh, like the noun and all the kinds of nouns and the you know, verbs and all the kinds of verbs. So different parts of speech. Yeah. yeah. And same with the second book. You got prepositions, commonly misused words like may or might and how to use them properly. Suffixes. So they're kind of going through parts of speech in the first couple ones. Punctuation in the third book. Um, then they have a section on typing, which I kind of covered in the walkthrough. Okay, Leash, what else do you want to share? 
Uh, also, after the stories, they'll have like a. I'll just read it because I don't know what it is. Um. Right. People who achieve goals usually demonstrate endurance to withstand pressure and opposition. Such people possess emotional, moral, and physical strength to endure discouragement, fear, hardship, ridicule, or pain in order to complete a task or noble goal. Okay. So, like, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> What's that called? What? The hat. Little pep talk at the end of the lesson. <laughs> <laughs> pep talk, just a summary of the lesson. <laughs> but they even have some old poetry like this one. If you can, it's called an if for girls. If you can dress to make yourself attractive, yet not make puffs and curls your chief delight. If you can swim a row, be strong and active, but of the gentler graces lose not sight. If you can dance without a craze for dancing. Play without giving play to strong a hold. Enjoy the love of friends without romancing. Care for the weak and friendless old. And then it kind of goes on. So it kind of mixes it up. We got some poetry that they'll be studying. A slave girl who loved America. Oh, the other thing is it's very much American rooted, which we like. So it's got American principles. Um, yeah. That kind of stuff. What else, girls? What'd you like? What you didn't like? I didn't like that mine is black and white. <laughs> so is hers. The actual printed ones are black and white. Yeah, that's sad. So they didn't like that it was black and white. They wanted color. Here we're learning about the Kansas Mennonites. No. Come on, talk. How'd you use it? What'd you do? Tell me. Uh, no, it's just. You guys were simple. gone for a lot of this review period. Yeah. It is very simple. So they just packed it and would go. They were at the airport. They were at coffee houses. They kind of traveled all over finishing up some projects. Um, and they didn't need any help with it at all. It's pretty simple. Okay. What else? Um, no, it's just you learn. Uh, yeah, some these English communication skills. You learn how to put these sentences together, and this one showed you um, present tense, past tense, and future tense. Present tense would be I work hard at stating. Past tense would be I worked hard at stating. And future tense would be a shower hard yeah. at skating. So here, here's the fifth book. And this book gets into the basics of writing. Um, so it gets into how to repair errors in your sentences. Um, and then it has a bunch of examples of corrections. Um, along with the life principles, it's got your introduction, your body, your conclusion, but yet still sprinkled through with all sorts of history and American ideals. Compositions with multiple paragraphs, the John F. Kennedy test. What is that? Answering writing prompt. What is that? You'll have to wait till you get there. Here we talk about Winston Churchill's Marxists. We know all about that. <laughs> So different writing, it, it shows you how to brainstorm, how to plan your writing, um, here how to transition between ideas. So here you really get into kind of the meat of physically writing and communicating, editing. So this is good. This is the kind of stuff I wanted my kids to get into this year. Some writing examples, rough draft. So that's kind of, that's exciting. That's like the meat of this curriculum, I would say. So yeah, so that's kind of how we used it. We really like it. I think my girls will probably stick with it through the rest of the year because they really like it too. It's very simple. 
Um, the activity books. We didn't even show some of the activity books. Well, I walked through them a little bit, but I wonder when we get into level five here. So how long does a lesson take you? How long would you say this takes you each day? Five, ten minutes. Yeah. Depending on how fast you No, I think it's a little bit faster than that. Or longer than that. I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. I would say probably no longer than 20 minutes, but these girls are pretty fast readers. Um, so I'd say 15, 20 minutes for a lesson. So it's easy to squeeze in with other stuff. So there's a thing on the back. So yeah, um, you guys should check it out. Here's like their catalog. So you can print it, you have a digital, and then some of the courses have an audio compatible. Ooh. But they have everything from science, English, history. I mean, it looks like they have virtually every subject. So check out the links below. I'll include the link to their website, Paradigm Accelerated Curriculum. I'll include the link to the course that we're going through, which is English Communication Skills. It is targeted for like a seventh grade level, um, which I would say is pretty accurate. It's pretty easy, though. So yeah. like mm -hmm. my younger kid... How old is Haven? 10, 10. 10. So they're turning 12, right? Mm -hmm. um, in a couple months. So I think my 10-year-old could easily do this. Yeah. So I would say anywhere from 5th, 6th grade and up, depending on your academic level. Um, so check out that link below. I'll also include a link to other reviews. So some of my other crew members um, reviewed other courses by this company. So if you're interested in that, check out the links below. And I think that's it. We really liked it. Worth the money. You get the digital download so you can print it for all your f other kids. So it's worth the money in that regard. Because I can reuse it for all my all my kids. So yeah. As always, remember, Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Thanks, guys.